Bad thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I asked our producer for one minute today. <clears throat> and as you know, when, when I do that, it usually means like four minutes. Um, <laughs> but I promise not to take too long. The reason I asked for it is because of the gift that I have been given. It's a gift that I can never repay, but I have to at least acknowledge. Others have worked at this station with you longer, but no one outside of maybe Chuck over on camera three ha has been blessed to be in this room with you the way I have for almost 17 years. That's a third of my life. Every day, learning from you and sharing with you and, and solving the world's problems during commercial breaks as we uh, unfurl tragedies and triumphs to our viewers. Or maybe just listening to Bruno Mars. <laughs> hours upon hours every weekday. You have shaped me. I am better at this job. More importantly, I am better as a person because of you. And I am so grateful. And perhaps the thing that best demonstrates why I feel that way is because of what happened when you came to my dad's visitation a few years ago. I didn't have to introduce you to anyone because they know who you were. But I also didn't have to tell you who they were because you knew, because you listened. And you genuinely listened to so many of my stories about my siblings and my cousins and my mom. And you just knew. And that kind of empathy and that depth of compassion and your general just willingness to see things from someone else's perspective, it is exceptional. This community is so much better because of your example. And may we all approach our jobs and our lives the same way as you turn off that microphone for the final time today. I love you, John. Thank you so much. <laughs>